Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is going to be for fire weekend energy. This is going to be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and it is going to be July 10th through the 13th. Might be something going down on the 14th with you. I'm not really sure, but I have been saying the 13th, and that's the first time I stumbled. So, the push is up and available. If you are part of the Patreon crew, it is uploaded and it is there for the viewing. And if not, you can go to the description box below. It will say to benefit our channel. You can put in any donation you want and I will email it to you. If you don't get it within 20 minutes, please be email me. It is my job. So, Aries Leo Sag. What is going down? Aries Leo Sag. Zach, we have the Eight of Swords. So, oh, it's like, oh, energy, what do I do? We have Temperance. We have the High Priestess. Ooh, okay, we have Judgment. Are you fucking kidding me? All right. And the Lovers, you have all Major Arcana. So, Something really can't be avoided here. It's either getting thrown in your face. Uh, there could be more than one person. There could be a reconciliation between you and someone else. There could be second chances. This could be you using your intuition. If this was just you using your intuition, I don't understand why you would be so stuck. So there could be some type of secret love affair happening, a secret re reconciliation that already happened, or it's still going on. Um, so let's see. Tell me about... Temperance, please. We have the Eight of Wands, so there is definitely communication. It could be between you and a Sag, you and a Pisces. I, I mean, you got them all. You got Gemini, High Priestess, it's the Ace of Cups. You could be dating or seeing somebody who's extremely intuitive, um, somebody who's extremely spiritual. It's, it's the highest spirituality card you can get. Um, I will tell you, if you're spiritual and this is coming to you or it's already here, you're probably extremely excited because this doesn't happen that often. I will tell you, you've probably had a past life with this person. That is a given with all these cards here. Judgment, Queen of Wands. Okay, so there was definitely a third party. There was definitely some type of lover. It's Queen of Wands came right out. So it's it's like a second chance situation with somebody going on. You're definitely communicating. And one of the lovers is trying to make a decision. So somebody is all up in their head about this, whether it's the feminine or the masculine. Looks like the feminine. Do I, do I give it a second chance? Do I... Do I, I don't know if there's a need to forgive, apology, vice versa, but do I resurrect something? Do I... Do I do this? Uh, to me, it looks like somebody you know or something already went down. Could be a reconciliation. You could have been arguing. Somebody comes back in. They communicate. To me, you're definitely using your intuition. There's somebody extremely spiritual on the board. Chances are that's my followers. There is a new opportunity in love and in, in getting something off the ground. So somebody is questioning something. Somebody is just... All up in the head. Do I want this? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? That seems to be the only thing. So it looks like you guys are gonna be in your head. You could be dealing with a. a you got a feminine Sag. Got a lot of Sag in that chart. Could it be a secret love? Could there be something going on, a, a secret, a secret romance, a, a secret rendezvous? Let's go one more round. Eight of Wands, please. Four of Swords, so you got an energy that's frightened of getting hurt again. They are healed from a situation. There still seems to be a little bit of a blockage. The Ace of Cups, you got the Nine of Wands. So, again, battling yourself. Do I want it? Do I not? Do I fight for it? I'm freaking exhausted. All right, that type of energy has been through the ringer. That's why I said if you feel like you're that person, it's like, 
it's, it's, it's tough energy because you've been through the ringer. Do I fight for it? Do I not? This, that. So you're dealing with somebody who's extremely intuitive. Could this be an Aquarian energy? Possibly. But I, I do also feel like all this energy would follow the stars to a sword strength. Okay, so if it's going to take strength for you to make this decision, like I said, this is, this is not, it's not easy. Do I fight for it? Do I not? Let's find out what this Eight of Swords is. Eight of Swords. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag. also got the hangman so man I'm telling you three of cups so definitely probably some type of third party scenario but this is just like mingya okay so let's find out king of cups so you're all up in your head about the king of cups so the king of cups is all up in their head about you you got the six of swords am they gonna move forward is somebody is this energy gonna move forward are they not gonna move forward so it's it's questioning am i moving forward or are they moving forward okay so it's 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 so clear. So I guess all I can do for you, it, it does look like the feminine is, is stressing out. Um, <clears throat> I guess all I can really do for you is clarify this, this eight of swords. I, I guess what spirit wants you to know regarding uh, king of cups energy, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Pisces. You got um, you got a lot of water here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Got a couple planets. You got an Aquarius, you got a Gemini, and you got two kinds of Sag, you got a Leo. So, what spirit want you to know about the King of Cups? And if this is the King of Cups, this is a message for you. And if you're the feminine thinking about the King of Cups, this is a message for you. This is regarding whatever it is. So basically this is spirit saying this is going to either give you a message, hopefully give you a little bit of clarification on what maybe you're, you're not seeing. Okay. So you got talking. All right. So interested, conversating, more awaiting messages. If you've been awaiting a message, something's going to arrive, a text, a call, an email. So you are going to be talking to this energy, but we see this here anyway. Could it be healing as you talk? Yeah. Or is this something that's being reconciled? And, and this is very healing energy. A high priestess, Ace of Cups, loving all this energy. She's a very healing, intuitive, spiritual, feminine. Okay. Um, and it does look like she's struggling a little bit. Or this is vice versa, and it looks like he's struggling a little bit. Okay, but I do feel like it's more feminine energy struggling. So just keep talking, you know, moving forward. At the bottom of the deck, you do have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. I will get one more for you guys regarding your best advice with this King of Cups type energy. And then it's up to you just to, you know, stay stay strong. King of Cups energy, the Eight of Swords, please. What's going on? It could be asking you to change your perspective when it comes to your thought process with this King of Cups. Whether you're the one thinking about the King of Cups, again, vice versa thought process needs to be looked at differently. It looks like there's something unconditional here and talk about it instead of running from it. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So so many just fell out, but with the King of Cups energy, you, it is a one-sided situationship right now so maybe they're not really talking and they're gonna start talking i just want one more and i want to wrap this up one more for you guys one more please 
I just got sidetracked thinking I should clarify the lovers, but Alright, come on, one more. Any additional messages? Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for a union. So there's definitely something that's that's gonna go down, okay? I, I guess your best advice I can give you is to stay strong, open up, communicate, use your intuition, make a decision, don't don't stay in this energy. That means someone might want to would rather stay quiet than to kind of say what's going down um, in in someone's head. Okay, so talk about it. Looks like you have an opportunity to. All right. Um, I'm really being pulled to that. Lover to a sword. So I, I think it's just your decision. I don't really need to worry about it. I don't think you guys need to. I'm not feeling it like that. I mean, I can see the worry, but... So, best advice with this deck, please. Best advice with one card for the weekend energy, please. Best advice. You got the staff. So, don't, don't give up hope. You might be pretty tired. Not wanting to fight for something or just tired of fighting, right? It just it's always a fight, and with the moon here, it's like you really just don't know what's going down. Um, but don't don't give up the faith and and the hope. Okay. All right, y'all. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you shortly. Bye.